Well, I love my house. I love my neighborhood and my neighbors. I could probably stay here another 10 years before I move in. I'm just not quite ready to move in. But one day I was invited to a luncheon at Kirby Pines and part of that experience there was a tour. I had toured the apartments. I knew what I wanted there. But they were offering a tour of the garden homes. I had never seen the garden homes. So I took the tour. The first one I went in, I said, this is my house. I loved the floor plan. I loved the setting, the location, uh, the houses around me. Uh, it was right across the street from the place where all the apartments were. I didn't have to get my car out of the garage. I could just walk across the street. I loved it. But I thought, it's not going to be here in 10 years. I better think again and go on and move while this house is available. This is my house. So I talked to the people in the marketing office, got all the information I needed, and then I thought, I don't know if I can afford it. I went home and I got out my calculator and my pen and paper and I did some figuring. I put down all my monthly fixed expenses. I put down the things that I paid by the year, like property taxes, divided it into 12 months. And I came up with a figure that was surprising to me because it cost me less per month at Kirby Pines than it had been costing me at my house. I was paying more there. So if I could afford it there, I could certainly afford it at Kirby. And besides that, not just my monthly expenses were being paid at my house, but at Kirby Pines, I was also paying for my future. For any set of circumstances, my needs would be met at Kirby Pines. The life care was very important to me because I was by myself. Uh, I do have a son, a daughter-in-law, and two grandchildren in Germantown, but I did not want to have to depend on them for my care. If I were still living in my house, I would be home most of the time. I would go out occasionally with friends and to church, but here at Kirby Pines, I'm on the go all the time. I have made many, many new friends. They have a same thing and the same kinds of interests that I do. And our activities director plans a full day for us every day. We have to pick and choose what we're going to do. Move in and have fun. And it make, gives you that peace all over. It really does. When I walk, when I drive into that front gate, this is home and I'm where I belong. One of the first experiences I had with Kirby Pines was the year that you opened, back in 1983. One of the ladies that I knew was a principal of an elementary school. I had lunch with her one day. She cried all during lunch, saying that her niece was making her move to a new place called Kirby Pines. And she did not want to sell her house. She had lived there all her life. She did not want to come here. She was against it. After she moved in, I kept tabs with her and kept visiting with her. There was improvement in her attitude every time I saw her. She loved meeting the people first. She loved the activities that were provided. And her main thing that she kept saying is that they, the management really cares about me. And the people are the cream of the crop.